the biggest asset we have as a nation is our human capital. And for your information, we spend 650 billion shillings every year on our education. It is the largest single budget. Larger than anything else, we spend 30% of our budget is in education. From our primary schools, to our secondary schools, to our colleges, to our universities. And it would be irresponsible of us if we are spending 650 billion every year and we don't have a plan on what happens when the product we are spending 650 billion on comes out. It would be very reckless. You know? So we, we must be the same way we are spending so much money in sharpening our human capital through education and training, we must equally have a coherent, intentional plan on how do we monetize this asset? How do we use this asset to uh, benefit Kenyans and to benefit our country as well? We are going to sort out ourselves. Kenya is going to be a different country shortly. Mm. Mm. It's, not, it's, not, uh, it's not going to be a walk in the park. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to do it because uh, we must do it. We, we have an opportunity to get it right. We must get it right this time around. We have taken the decision that... Um, we are going to live within our means. We are going to live within our means. You know, many uh, people, you know, have a narrative that we are overtaxing ourselves. You know, numbers, they say, don't lie, you know. If you look at uh, our peers, the countries that we play in the same league, South Africa, Morocco, those categories, their percentage of tax as a percentage of GDP is 25. 25% of GDP, that's their tax. In Kenya, we are currently at around 15 in the OC, uh, OCD countries, they are above 35, with France leading around 45. We're at 15. So if anybody tells you we're overtaxing ourselves, they are not using empirical numbers. They are just talking stories. We just have to up our game. We need also to manage our expenditure. That's why I had a meeting with parastatals and ministries, and we have agreed that we are reducing our budget from four point, almost 4.2 trillion to 3.7 trillion, because we need to live within our means. You cannot spend what you don't have. It is foolishness. So we just live within our means. You cut the cloth to the right size. So we are shedding off fat, we are removing largies, we are eliminating wastage, making sure that we live within our means. And the signs are already there in Kenya. Um, we have built a very good profile over the last year and a half globally. Many people now have confidence in Kenya. If you look at our stock exchange, it is the top performing stock exchange in Africa today. Because people today, investors globally, believe in Kenya. You know, many people were asking me, why have you gone to France? Why did you go here? Why did you go here? Why did you go here? I am the chief diplomat of Kenya. 
y no. That's what it is. You know, that's the job I have, right? And, and so we need to showcase what we are made of, you know? And, and people believe uh, what they see, what they hear, what they feel. That's why today, J.B. Morgan's, BlackRock of U.S., many other investors today believe in Kenya. That's why they're investing in our stock exchange. They're investing in many other spaces in our country. I would want to encourage you to know that while we have Ambassador Bagheni here, you are possibly much more effective ambassadors than he is in your places of work, in wherever you are, in whatever you do. Um, you've heard Madam Roslyn say, we want you to open up opportunities for jobs for other Kenyans, for business for other Kenyans, for opportunities for other Kenyans. Tell us what we can do better. Tell us what we can do more. Let us know how we can support you. If there are tax issues, let's have a conversation. I have asked our Ministry of uh, our Treasury to do an overhaul of um, uh, our tax space. We'd carry some input from diaspora on what needs to be done better. We already said that people who pay taxes wherever they work they should not pay taxes on the same issues again at home. That we have already said. All you need to do is to file your returns and say, I have paid this and this and this tax. We will give you a tax credit for the taxes you have paid here so that you don't uh, pay taxes twice. Because we appreciate that you are working in a different country. You have to pay taxes in that country. And we can only support you by making sure that we don't uh, cause you to pay tax twice. There are other areas we can look at it again. And I want to tell the diaspora community, not in Ghana, across the world, that the government of Kenya has made that decision that you cannot pay tax twice. You pay tax for the taxes you pay in your country of residence, you get a tax credit in Kenya for those taxes when you file your returns in Kenya. That way, we encourage everybody. Yeah. It is my intention, as we work on this program, to increase our diaspora remittances from about $3.8 billion to $10 billion in the next five, seven years. And it's doable. In 2022, we were 38 this year, possibly, we will cap it at $5 billion, and we are moving. So, to Nasongesha. So, you guys continue working. Uh, maybe you can get an extra job. <laughs> <laughs> Invest in the right place. And I, I've given you leakage of where that is. We are very proud of what you guys are doing here. We have very favorable reports of your expertise, your professionalism, and um, your, your, the contribution you're making to uh, your country of residence, and we truly appreciate uh, that, uh, that you are putting your best foot forward for us. Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for of sending money back home today. Hurupe is transforming lives. We will be able to hear from some of them, but I am so excited to act with you. May your visit be fruitful. May it further strengthen the ways together and inform policy making processes. Distal Kenyans, first and foremost, we are here today as a testament. The leader of the newest State Department is much fatter than everything else. It's a big broad base on protection. A promotion in, for investment promotion. Ambassador Moilem. Then uh, that gentleman also, and then this lady, and then we'll... They are treasured, and you don't hear much about them. They are busy. 
Permit me, Your Excellency, to touch on a few highlights. Recognizing the importance of harnessing the potential and contributions of Kenya. Thank you very much. Emma Wenani, the floor is yours. I stand on all existing protocols, Hamjambo, and good evening. And Deputy Balozi Koech, for the efforts of the High Commission, our suggestion, if we may, is to explore options as a community in Ghana. We are committed in partnership and collaboration. We can unlock new opportunities for growth. Baliana, by August, we will have brought you a team to meet the diaspora affairs. The more reason why.